Hey friends, welcome back to Homestead in the Box. My name is Leah and I'm super grateful that you're here today. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified every Tuesday and Friday whenever we release new videos. If you're not new here, welcome back. <laughs> I'm excited you're back. Today's video is going to be part as a two-part series and it is going to be about what I'm planting in my garden. I'm breaking it down into a two-part series because in my head I have two gardens going on. I have a spring garden and a summer garden. And how I define that for me in our homestead, this is for me, this is not for everybody, is my spring garden is what I put in the ground before my last frost date. And my summer garden is what I put in the ground after my last frost date. Now my last frost day is about seven weeks out. I live in southeastern Oklahoma, so I still have a little bit of time. Now, if you're like, why would you plant something in the ground when there's still a chance of frost? I was that way too until last year. And that is because I learned that there are quite a big handful of plants that thrive in colder weather. Some of those plants are things that I'm growing this year, so I need to start them in the ground before my last frost. Now, they give you a window on when to start these for a reason, because right now, my ground is covered in ice. I'm not going to go out there and ice pick where to plant a pea plant. <laughs> so, you do have a window on them. I'm going to show you guys what I'm planting and what I'm transplanting out within the next couple of weeks. So, the first thing I'm transplanting outside is my cabbage. Now, I have a video that I shot last week over container gardening and how I'm growing my cabbages and my carrots and things in feed sacks. If you haven't seen that video, I'll put the link down below in the description so you can go check it out and show it some love. If you did see that video, then these are my cabbages that I need to be transplanting. And they've kind of taken over this, and I hope that I get cabbage. <laughs> uh, because they are kind of compacted in here. They are pretty tight in this, so I am hoping once I transplant them, they will uh, not have any crazy major shock and things like that. But this week, this coming week, when our temperatures get a little bit warmer than 14, um, I'm actually going to be hardening these, hardening these off and putting them in the garden within the next couple of weeks. The next thing I have is going to be peas. Uh, peas need to be planted. They give you a window four to six weeks before your last frost. Generally, they say when your ground is workable. The variety of peas that I'm growing are Lincoln peas, Laxton's Progress number nine, Peas. They say these are like a sweet pea. And these green beauties. Now, I know for a fact these green beauties grow when it's cold. Because I was growing some over in the other container this past winter. And when we had the really, really uh, bad cold snap back in January, it took everything out I was growing in the container. Um, even being protected from the frost, it still took everything out. It went from like 60 degrees to 16 within 24 hours. So, peas like to be planted whenever there is still a chance of frost out on the ground. So, safe there. In that video, I talked about my cabbages. I especially talked about my carrots. And carrots are also another cool weather crop. They like colder days and they will bolt when it gets too hot. Uh, a lot of these carrots were free seeds that I got from Baker Creek Seeds. But this is a golden carrot. Isn't that cool looking? I think it is. And then I do have two packages of Fairy Morse that I purchased last year. And... This carrot I purchased, I bought, uh, because they said that the, um, the antioxidants and things like that in it are just amazing. This one and this one. So the Atomic Red Carrot. And if you've ever grown these, please let me know in the comments below if there's any tricks or anything. Um, oh, I've seen several people struggle with growing carrots, so I'm hopeful. <laughs> I'm growing them in feed sacks, so I'm very hopeful. And the Black Nebula. And then uh, these two were just some more free seeds that I got. 
This cosmic purple I'm really excited about. Another thing that really thrives in cold weather is lettuces. And I was not going to start lettuce inside. I was not. I was going to direct sow it into my green stock. Um, if you have not seen my green stock video, I will link it in the description below. Go check it out and get yourself $10 off because there's a coupon code there for you. Um, so I was not going to plant any of my... Uh, I was not going to start any lettuces or kales in the house. I was going to direct sow them. However, that did not happen. I started me some. My kale is a little leggy. It's been reaching for the light. But my lettuces are doing pretty good. Um, I have thought of different ways that I'm going to transplant this into my green stock. But I have not figured it out yet. So, I mean, I could clip them as microgreens, but that's not what I want them for. So, I do have to figure out how I'm going to transplant these. Something that I'm purchasing to plant here pretty soon is going to be strawberries and I went and, and I'm going to plant some of those in my green stock also. However, I did go and buy a kitty swimming pool for $6 from the dollar store and I'm going to have like a strawberry kitty pool. Um, I got the idea from Roots and Refuge. Um, she did it several years back with her kids and it was super awesome. And in that same kitty pool... I'm going to be growing radishes, and I can't take my radishes out because if you see, my radish seeds fell out of the package. So I have about three different kinds of radish seeds in here, and so we're just going to go with it, and we're just going to toss them in between the sunflowers, or sunflowers, between the strawberries. Uh, they don't take very long to grow, so probably before I get any strawberries on the plants, I'll have radishes. For the vegetables in my spring garden, that wraps those up. Now, I am going to be starting very soon some peppermint, probably tonight. <laughs> and then these flowers need to be started, and it's bee balm. And I do not know how to pronounce this, so forgive me if I butcher it, but Gilardia. And they're super pretty. I'm going to be starting those uh, here in the house and actually like within the next few days, probably when my husband comes home, <laughs> I'm going to hoax him into helping me start a lot of tomato seeds because I am selling tomatoes at a plant sale and some peppers and things like that. So I don't know if you've ever thought about having a spring garden or starting something before the last frost, but if you really just want to start some food... Uh, I highly recommend getting you some peas, cabbage, and there is many, there's several other vegetables that you can grow um, in an earlier spring, especially depending on where you live. Uh, again, I live in southeastern Oklahoma, so it gets pretty hot here a couple, like a few months into the summer, not even a few months, but a little bit into the summer, and it gets scorching hot here. So a lot of cooler weather crops don't grow here very well. However, my one of my overall goals okay and they say you know if you say it out loud okay but i started last year with the winter garden and so my goal this year as far as just like gardening is to garden all year long i want to garden all year you know i want to do spring summer fall winter and i just i want to i want to make it past like january 14th of next year with food in the ground. That is probably my garden goal. Now the point of my garden this year is to preserve as much food as possible. So really the a lot of the things I'm super excited and to show you guys about is my summer garden where I'm going to show you 20 different varieties of tomatoes and some cool corn that I'm growing and things like that. All right, friends, that's going to wrap up the spring edition of what I'm planting in my garden. The next video I have will be the summer edition, and you definitely do not want to miss that and all 20 variety of tomatoes that I have going. Uh, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. Uh, it really does help push my channel out there further on YouTube to get more views from people and really just to help me spread the word that growing food isn't hard and it doesn't take a rocket scientist to do it because I am not a rocket scientist. So 
As always, I'm sending you good vibes. Send them to somebody that you might know, and I'll see you guys next time.